Welcome to the learning of engineering tutorial video lectures. In this video lectures, we are trying to focus on to find out the, the maximum shear stresses and that is the major principal stresses and minor principal stresses and what conditions we are going to be get these kind of because when the member is going to be subjected to more than one load suppose that member is going to be subjected to x y and z direction loads are going to be acting so then the governing equations are generally used to fail so then what happened we are going to be combining these three forces or three stresses and we will try to find out the the resultant component so already we have discussed these things in our biaxial stresses in our in that equation so then in this case we can see this member is going to be the thin cylindrical vessel and subjected to the the three types of loads what are the those those are going to be one stress is in the circumferential direction the second stress is in the longitudinal direction and the third one is going to be the torque or the shear forces are going to be acting on this member that i am going to say the tau i am going to be taking here right so this is going to be the the shear stresses are going to be acting on that member so then how to find out and we have already discussed the sigma 1 is equal to this is the governing equation and the sigma 2 is going to be your longitudinal strain and this is going to be the stress is going to be acting. So then what are I am going to do by individually we can't develop the diameter for one diameter will get it for this second diameter will get it for this one third diameter will going to be getting. So it is not the way to find like that. So then what I am going to do I am going to be substituting all these in one equation and that I can find out the principal stresses. There we can see the major principal stress that we have derived in our previous video lectures that is the major stress is equal to sigma x plus y by 2 plus square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square. So I am going to be modifying according to our condition so that the major stress is equal to that is equal to sigma x is nothing but that is going to be I am going to be taking here is the maximum stress in this direction and going to be in this direction that is going to be sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus the square root of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 whole square plus tau xy xy means here the tau is going to be coming that is the tau square when I am going to be substituting the sigma 1 sigma 2 and the tau I will get the equation in terms of that. So from there I can find out the, the diameter of the component. So accordingly I can design the component of that part. So the next one we will see the minor principal stresses how it is going to be acting. Now we can see these are going to be the minor principal stresses similarly to the major principal stress. In the minor principal stress only we will get here is the negative sign. If it is the major principal stress we will get the a positive. So that equation I am going to be substituting the same and that I am going to be getting sigma x I have taken the maximum stress which side it is going to be acting that side is going to be the x I have considered and the minimum stress I have taken sigma sigma y is the minimum stress that is in the other direction of that uh, the sigma x. So this equation we are getting sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 minus the square root of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 whole square plus tau square we are getting. Once you are substituting in this equation again we will get the the diameter or the dimensions of the component. So that we will now we will see what is the major principle that is the maximum shear stress we will get it. The maximum shear stress how much we can get it. We have calculated tau max is equal to in this case what happened we have calculated the minor as well as the major principal stresses that I am going to be taking here this is going to be the major minus minor divided by 2 I am going to be taking this way we can calculate the the maximum shear stress how much it is going to be acting on that system or we can take it that's going to be another equation also we can find out. So tau max we can find out from the major minus minor principal stresses by 2 or we can calculate because this tau max we can calculate from the sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y under square root. So then sigma x and sigma y we substituted again and we got this equation. So this is the way we can find out the, the response of the system when the pressure vessels are going to be subjected to the sigma 1 and the sigma 2 that means the longitudinal stresses, circumferential stresses as well as the torque also going to be continued. So these kind of the cases most of the time we can see in the torque converters. 
these torque converters are widely using for the mixing of the cement and the granules for the constructional purpose. So there we are using the, the torque converters. So those vessels are going to be subject in this and we can develop that kind of vessels by using these equations. I hope you are able to understand the concepts and still if you feel any difficulty or confusion in this topic and please put in the comment section so that I can reach you out. Thank you.